productivity hacks for the busy entrepreneur. Guys, Kim Barrett here from Your Social Voice. And today I wanna to talk to you about a few different productivity hacks that you can take into your business, into your life, to allow you to GSD, get stuff done. Insert your own word there, right? So I wanna to talk to you about a couple of different ways that you can get more done in your day. Why would you wanna do that? Well, because you really wanna ensure that the time that you are using in your day, you are focusing on not just being busy, being busy, but actually being effective and efficient, right? Which are two different things. So you wanna make sure that what you are doing, you're getting the most out of your day. Now, I'm not saying that you have to hustle hard and do 24 hours a day of work, but if you're working five hours, make sure you get the most out of those five hours. I'm gonna start with a couple of different reasons why you should do this and how you can go about it and what that would look like for you. But I just want you to know to start off with, the reason why being productive is important right, producing more than you can in every single hour of every single day is so that you can actually focus on serving your customers better. You can focus on helping your team do better. And that only comes from giving yourself more time, more productivity, more availability. So let's look at the first simple thing that you should be doing on a daily basis to ensure that you can be more productive. And number one, that is using your calendar properly. So a big uh, saying, I can't remember who it was from, but they always would say that, show me your calendar and I'll give you your outcome. So when you look at your calendar, you look at what you are doing on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, they can predict, and I can predict, if you show me your calendar, exactly the outcome you'll be getting in your business. Are you having meetings? Are you having sales calls? Are you doing team training? Are you going to the gym? Are you seeing family? Everything should be put into your diary. So what I did as an example, is I locked out the time in the morning when I would go into the gym. So I have from 5.30 till seven gym time. Then I have my morning process, which I'll talk to you about in a little bit more. Then I have our sales team huddle. Then we have our overall team huddle. Then we have our traffic meeting. Then I have anything else throughout the day. Lunchtime I have locked off 12.30, right? Can't go past that point. That is my lunch time. And in the evening, if I'm going to jiu-jitsu, I do Brazilian jiu-jitsu from 7 till nine, uh, seven to 8.30, it's locked out in my calendar. If I have family dinner, it's locked out in my calendar. If I have stuff on the weekend, it's locked out in my calendar so that I can plan things out more effectively. Then what I do is, if I because if my calendar is open for clients to book into, what happens is other people's priorities become mine. Right? And yes, we need to make sure that we all help our customers and clients. However, it doesn't really matter right, if they have a priority right this moment until I have done what I have prioritized because otherwise what happens is you will fall behind and then you can't serve them when you actually need to. So you need to ensure that you have time blocked out to achieve what you wanna do and batching things together, guys. So if you do sales calls, put all your sales calls on one day. I know for me, I have calls available on Wednesdays and Fridays. That's it. They need to book on a Wednesday or a Friday. Then if I'm doing coaching sessions with our mogul clients or anything like that, it's on Tuesdays. Tuesday, I know that day is gonna be calls for me. I'm gonna be doing coaching and consulting with people. That's it, nothing else pops up on that day. And I specifically set it out in a way so that I know that those days is what I'm doing. Monday, CEO day. If I really have to, I'll take a call that day, but otherwise it's locked out for team meetings. We have our big overall weekly team meeting. As I said, we have a sales huddle every day, traffic huddle every day, team huddle every day to ensure that we consistently kick goals. And that's the other is make sure that you're meeting with your team and not just meeting for the sake of meeting, but meeting to be effective. So on our sales huddle, we need to have an outcome and an objective of what we're doing. On our sales huddle, it is to go through and look at what opportunities we have for today, identify any objections we've been having, and then role playing those. So we'll role play how we would overcome those objections, any problems we're having with the sales process. We would go through that and we'll role play that each and every single day, right? On our team huddle, we look at what we have on for the, for the day, any help that we need, and then we look at as well what our capacity is out of 10. So one is I've got nothing on, I'm chilling, I'm sipping on martinis. 10 is I'm busy, I'm flat out, I need help, I need assistance. And by using that as a, just a simple metric and mechanism, we can then see how busy we are, we can see who needs support, or who's got excess capacity to take on projects as the day comes, um, comes around. Then on our traffic huddle, what we do, our objective for that is just to see if there are any red flags. Are there any accounts that are underperforming? Are there any accounts that we need to focus on straight away to ensure that they're going to get the best result possible? Because if so, then that can, we can adjust our day by focusing directly on that. So everything that we do has a clear outcome and objective. 
right? And now I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about how you can actually take what you have into a document, into a planning process, so you can look at what you need to have done every day. So we all have to-dos, right? We always are gonna have that. It's just a byproduct of being a busy person. There's gonna be a to-do list for you. So the way that I like to separate it, and maybe Nitty, if she's really good at editing, will make this into a nice little graphic for us. But I normally have a box at the top, I have a square box, and then I have lines under there. So I just use a line piece of paper with a box at the top. At the very top of the box, I'll put in my to-dos. So I need to, uh, for example, um, uh, meet with uh, Alina on this. I need to meet with Christy on this. I need to finish my slides for Certified Ballers Live. I have my to-do list then underneath that, and I use a different, instead of just a dot, I'll use it as a little circle. So I can put a little tick on it after I'm done. I'll have call, such and such call, such and such call, such and such. Any calls or meetings I have will be there. And I tick them off as I go. Then from my calendar, I'll actually write out my day. So starting at 5.15, waking up, 5.30, going to the gym, seven o'clock, being at the office, all the way down throughout the day, my meeting, my sales huddle, our team huddle, our traffic huddle, everything like that will be mapped out all the way until I go home. And then on days when I have jujitsu, I'll also plan out what I have in between. So I might have at five o'clock, I might have um, a review on our personal ads for your social voice at six o'clock. I might have prep dinner. And then at 6.30 I have, I've got to leave to go to jiu-jitsu, come home and then it's like unwind or if it's late and I'm staying up to do podcasts for the US, might be again, review and plan for tomorrow, uh, podcast at 10 p.m., call at 11.30 p.m., sleep. Right, so I have everything planned out for the whole day. So I don't, even if I don't have my calendar, I have my documentation of what I'm gonna be doing and I tick it off and cross it off as I go through. Number one, because it feels really good just to cross something off the list. But number two, because then I have everything fully mapped out. Right, and I consistently adjust that process based on what works for me. So at the moment, that works well. I draw a square box at the top of my page every day, write all these things out. But the key is not to do it on the day. Right, if you're doing this on the day, you're already gonna be behind. So what you wanna do is <clears throat> on the evening before, before you leave work or before you go home, before you switch off and you're um, completely off, is write down, cool, what's my diary like tomorrow? I've gotta be up at this time, I've gotta do this, 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 this. Because then as well, the decision's already made for you. When you wake up, you know what you're doing. I have these things, I have my to-do list, I have the calls I need to have done, and then when you get up the next day, it's very easy to be cool, I'm on track, bang, and you're just crossing things off as you go, but you do it the night before, right? So when you get up in the morning, you're just not like, oh, what's on for today? You've already know, you've already got your plan of attack. And yes, things will come in that will kind of mix that up every now and again, but at least 99% of the time, you have a specific map and a process that you're working through that you're able to identify and you're able to just consistently tick off each and every single day, which is a really big and important part for you having success when it comes to being more productive as a busy entrepreneur. So if you do that and every day you review it, at the end of the week, you review your week, right? On a Sunday, every Sunday I get up, I review what worked, what didn't work, what my lessons and uh, what activities contributed to the biggest outcome this week. Just go through that process again, write it all down. I also will identify anything that's been sticking in my brain, right? Because if you have an idea and you're like, oh, cool, I want to do this really cool thing. And it's always in your mind, right? It's always going to be sitting there and you're like, oh, I've been meaning to do this thing. I've been meaning to do this thing. Uh, it's what we call the radar, right? So this is like you got from a couple of guys called Taylor and Chris. Um, they have a radar where it's like you put down anything that's been on your mind, you're like, that would be really cool to do. You just jot that down and then it leaves you brain space then to focus on all the other things that you're doing, right? So if you do that and you effectively look at it and you effectively understand that and you put it to the side, then you can come back to it when you've got that brain space. You've got a little bit of time for thinking, like, okay, let me go back and look at my radars. Great, here's something I can pull in, I can do this week. Right, so if we were to just do a quick recap on that, guys, is number one, use your calendar and book out times, right? Lock them out. Number two, meet with your team regularly and ensure that you have an objective and a purpose for the meeting. And number three is write down and plan out your days. Make sure that you're doing it the day before, not on the day, the day before, so that you can get the best results possible. And guys, hopefully this has been helpful for you to be productive as a busy entrepreneur. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down, but tell me why. Give me a little bit of reasoning as to why you didn't like it and so I can make it better for you for next time. Or if you have any other ideas or you wanna hear anything else from us, please let us know. If you want Nita to do a video on how to use and create really effective Facebook ad images, just drop that in a comment down below so that then Nita can do that next week for you guys. Otherwise, make sure that you subscribe so that you see these videos before anyone else 
Until next time, I'm Kim Barra. Y'all have been awesome. Adios.